Hello everybody, my name is Bonner Bolger. I'm with Steak and Sizzle Media Company and welcome to episode number three of This Week in Porsche Center Oakville. For episode one, we had Daniel Morad in Motorsports. For episode number two, we had Dirk Dunsheda in Classics. And for number three, we've got Greg Aguilera here, and he is going to be in charge of all things service, all things parts for Porsche Center Oakville. But I'll let you give the people the 30,000 foot overview of what you do and who you are. You betcha. Hi, guys. My name is Greg Aguilera. I am the after sales manager here at Porsche Center Oakville. So I kind of look after everything from the time you buy the car, parts, service, detail, to you uh, come and buy your next Porsche. We, we look after you in after sales. We're still in COVID times here. We're still staying six feet apart. It's sort of a secured environment over here. The crews all got their masks on and things like that. So let's get going. Come on. Through. All right. So. so I know this is not your first time out not to, my out first in the time, workshop. Not my first time um, at the rodeo. This is one of my here. favorite places in the building. It's, it's a place that, you know, I started in the workshop and this is kind of neat for us. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, we kind of service it, everything and anything. We've got this amazing new 992 over here. Yeah, I mean, I was noticing you've got sort of like quite a variety of cars here, right? Yeah, like yeah, All yeah. the way from, so 992 over here, 997. Yep. SC, 9912. 87. Good boy, yeah. 87, yeah. absolutely. 993, okay, so what, what, what we got going on with these different cars? Yeah, so, so we've got this one, the customer's just having some engine work and we've had to remove the right tailpipe just to get up and in there. Yeah. Um, so we actually do a lot of just service and repair yeah. on even 997. Um, we have guys, um, even myself did the factory training on 997 of the technical training. So, so this one we're just doing some work on. This one as well, we're actually doing some service work on. Right, so now this is, we had our episode with Dirk, and yep. that was really restoration focused, right? So they were doing they, you know, total restorations. This is different. This is different, absolutely. I mean, Dirk and the team over at Polycarry Performance do an amazing job, and they help us out with the restoration side of it. Uh, we here focus on, for the classics, we focus on service and repair. So whether you're doing a valve adjustment or right. doing a brake service, or you're doing an alignment or something like that on one of these, that's what we do. Right. But also where we, where we utilize the guys and girls over at Polycarry Performance and Dirk mm -hmm. and his team is if a customer wants to get into a restoration, we'll go through and we'll, we'll take the customer through which pieces to do first. Right. And it doesn't have to all be done at the same time. Or they can go a complete nut and bolt restoration, start through finish. Um, so that's kind of what we do here. So here is service and repair. And then talk a little bit about the guys who, and girls who work on these cars because my experience with Porsche has been the passion runs a lot deeper than yeah. the newer cars. There's more, you know, when an older car comes in, there's maybe a small bit of euphoria. Or, oh, 100%. I get to work on this. 100%. I mean, this is, this is, for us, it's such a privilege to be able to work on this stuff. The cool thing is here, with all of our techs is they're all so passionate about Porsche that you're really, for us, we believe that we're looking after your car in our hands. Mm. And that's super important that you're in, that you're in our capable hands yeah. and that we wouldn't do anything for your baby. So we look after these like they're our own cars, which is, which is oh, great. Very cool. So this one also yellow calipers. Yellow calipers, PCCB. Bring it back. Beautiful. Absolutely. Next 993. Yep. All right, so here, I want to stop by this. We had this discussion a couple days ago. Yep. Uh, I gloss over whenever I talk about alignments because they are not the most exciting things in the world. However, you made alignments exciting for me, which is unbelievable. Talk a little bit about that 360 degree precision that you were mentioning to me. Yep. Um, and just a little bit about the precision of this particular machine, because that was interesting. Yeah, you betcha. So I'm, I'm glad that you thought I was making things exciting i'm sure we're, i'm sure we'll do an episode on cardboard one day yeah. but um yeah so this machine is the factory specification from porsche for this machine uh and this is actually by a, an american company called hunter engineering the specification is less than one centimeter so half a centimeter between corner to corner so this is absolutely level and it's precise so just to give you kind of some give you some the, the techie geeky yeah. part a circle 
one degree is one three hundred sixtieth of a circle, as we all know from uh, grade two math. Uh, this machine, uh, with the laser alignment, can actually measure to one sixtieth of one degree, which is incredibly tight. So one minute, this this machine can measure to. Um, but the super important thing about alignment for for us here is. When you have your car aligned, it goes down the road and it goes down the road straight and as it should. Also, if you want to take it on a track, you can have 500 horsepower, you can have 600 horsepower, it doesn't matter. If you can't go around the corners, you're not winning the race and races are won and lost on alignment. Mm -hmm. um, if you have half a degree off, it doesn't sound like a lot when you think about half of one degree, but about 300 feet down the road, that's 10 meters across. So your car's always struggling to stay straight. So we say, once a year to have your alignment done. And if you do have one of the modern, more modern Porsches that has an assistance system, this piece of equipment behind you actually does the adaptive cruise control. Uh, so that board needs to stay clear and that's why we've still got the cover on it. Um, so we align the car perfectly first and then we align all the laser assistance systems to the car, adaptive cruise control, camera systems, etc. So we align all, the, all of that so your car's heading in a and straight And that direction. is one of the parts where I you know, I never really thought about that because I get alignments done, but I use a laser cruise control system all the time. Yep. And I never thought that you would need to realign your laser cruise control to your alignment. So, Absolutely. you know, a little piece of information that I never really thought of until then. And I remember when they were building this place, you know, so many years ago, and they had, they flew guys from Germany, you know, to like, build the furniture. You yep. know? It Absolutely. was like the precision that's built into this place is ridiculous. So, yeah, it's uh, a bit crazy. Super, super, super good stuff. Yeah, a bit crazy. Uh, interesting, it, more interesting than it's ever been for me with alignments anyway. <laughs> so yeah. let me take you through. I've got something really exciting yes. I want to show you. Come on through. I don't, I don't think you've seen one of these before. A lot of goodies here. So yeah, so I just want to really kind of take you guys through really a bit of a back end of the business and, and how we function here. So everything for us is like a race team. So we prepare everything the day before for the next day. <laughs> This is customer area, so whether you're buying a t-shirt or a paint stick, or you're buying some center caps, we prepare all of this so our customers aren't yeah. inconvenienced in any way. As you can see over here, we're doing the same for the parts back counter, so we, we're as efficient as possible in what we work. But this is kind of just a, a back end glimpse, but this is the interesting stuff I want yeah, to show this you. Is, so come uh, on over. Okay. Um, so we were talking a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about like braking systems yeah. and all of this stuff, and what does it mean? And I said, hey, you know. It's what car nerds do. <laughs> hey, listen, when, when, we, when we take brake calipers and we, we put them on our mantle pieces, then we definitely know we're a car nerd, right? <laughs> totally. So this is what I wanted to show you. These are actually rear calipers um, from a Cayenne. Mm -hmm. And this is a rear caliper, just for comparison's sake, uh, from a Volkswagen Golf GTI. Okay. So really the main things are, A, they weigh pretty much the same. Um, I will get a scale and check that. You are because more than I'm, welcome to. It seems like an optical illusion. Yeah, no, it absolutely is, and I can show you. This one has a single piston, and these ones have four pistons. Um, these ones are mounted radially, so the disc sits this way, like this. The disc being this big guy right That's over here. That's it, absolutely. Yeah. And, and this one mounts actually sideways to the disc. Um, and the reason why we do this is because it's more stable. The, the caliper doesn't twist as much. And these bracing elements over here uh, come kind of straight from racing so that the whole caliper assembly is as stiff as possible, um, which is kind of really cool. Uh, we don't really change the design of that too much, but um, the important thing to remember about these and the Porsche system is designed to Porsche specification. And what that means is, so if the car's capable of 180 miles an hour, or 300 kilometers an hour in, in metric terms, the car has to stop repeatedly from its VMAX speed, its absolute maximum speed, and it keeps going until it fails, and it's got to do it like three, five, however many times. And I want to be the Porsche engineer that does that job, because that sounds like a super fun job. It is probably more terrifying than it sounds, um, but if that's- I'm sure, I'm sure it's done on a dyno to... or something like that, but in my mind, I yeah, imagine yeah, like yeah. some guy no, in no, a no, car this... driving and like hammering the brakes. This is, actually, this is actually done with the car. Oh yeah? The car is, at, the full car is actually yeah. with a full tank of fuel and it runs as it should. Cool. And the reason why I kind of wanted to talk about that is, uh, and it, we have a parts delivery truck, you might have seen it yeah. around Opel. This is actually the brake pad from the front of our parts delivery truck. It's not 
off the truck, but it's a spare part mm -hmm. for us. And this is the brake pad from a Porsche Cayenne yep. uh, on the front axle of a Porsche Cayenne. And I just wanted to really show you kind of the difference in size. And the weight of the parts truck is? It's about three tons, Okay. About three metric tons, and a Porsche Cayenne is um, a little under two. Um, but the Porsche genuine part is, is engineered yeah. so that it will stop the car. It's huge. Yeah, it will stop this. It's the material, it's the backing, the stainless backing, it's everything, but it's designed for performance. Yeah. They're made to Porsche specifications, and those Porsche specifications are made in Weissach and those amazing engineers mm -hmm. over there. So it's, it's kind of a neat thing that the spare parts that you get here yeah. are the same parts as fitted to the factory, and they're the same parts that were certified to take your car from VMAX all the way kind of Which is through. what you want. And then I want to talk very quickly about the colors because I've seen acid green, I've seen yep. uh, yellow, red calipers, and I always thought that that was just, you know, there's no rhyme or reason behind it, but you have let me know that there is yeah, actually absolutely. method to the madness. So let's go over that really quickly. Okay, so we're talking about four-door sports cars, not right. two-door. So on the four-door sports cars, the standard car uh, gets a black caliper, the S cars get a silver caliper, and then the turbo and GTS get red. Mm -hmm. um, the e-hybrids, you might have seen it from the 918 Spider, get that acid green caliper, which is super cool. But customers can opt to have their acid green calipers black as well, okay, cool. if they don't like the yeah. acid green. Uh, and then we have the two super special um, caliper or the braking systems. The first one introduced in the 996 GT2, one of my favorite cars, was the PCCBs. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a ceramic composite brake. Obviously, we're on a further generation than was on the 996. And now our latest generation of brakes is Porsche ceramic coated brakes, which is a steel disc that is plasma coated. So you have a super hard surface and we have almost the same braking power, uh, just not necessarily the weight of a, uh, of a ceramic right. system. So we have this 70% reduction in, in brake dust with either of those. You sold me because I can't stand cleaning my Neither brakes. Neither can I, but let me, let me, let's come through to the okay. workshop and I'll show you some more stuff. Come on through, I don't, I don't think you've seen one. Ah. So this one's actually, this is the new 718 Cayman T. It's our first one. Right, so they had the 911 T that was released two years ago. Bare bones, the essentials, yep. if you will. Yeah. This would be the 718 version of that. Absolutely. It's got to be super fun to drive. Vortex interior in this one is absolutely stunning. This is the first one we've got in. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's really nice. It'll be here. So, this is a car that we're working on at the moment for a, for a client. We're just removing the PPF. Right, which is um, uh, Stone Guard. Stone Guard, material, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this one is a customer that has us. Kind of go over their car once a year yeah. and just give it a freshen Beautiful. up. This one we're just preparing for a customer, but that's not the real. That's not really the one that I want to show you. This is the one I want to show you. And, and Ron's, what I've asked Ron to do is just work on half of the car. Yeah. Um, okay. For us, this is a this is a full paint correction, um, and unlike other other dealers and other places, we've chosen to have career detailers. That you know, there are these guys that can do that clean a car. Yeah. Um, and then there are guys that make a career out of it. And maybe Chris, you want to come on in and I, I want to show you something on the paintwork, just real quick. So what we did on this one is the left-hand side of the hood, we did nothing to. This is how the customer brought the car in. And then on the right-hand side of the hood, we've, we've done a paint correction uh, on the right-hand side of the hood. Um, yeah, and it looks like, like, so when I get my car, so I've got a classic car and you get a detailed, A, it feels like it's, it works better, like, yeah. and it's amazing. And I did want to mention this whole idea of career detailer. It is an art it to is. actually really know how to detail a car. Yep. And it's a real skill, and it takes years to hone that. And I think, I think not enough people really appreciate that kind of um, yeah, that skill. Because uh, it, it, it's, it's tough to find yep. incredible detailers. Yeah, it's, it's not just the case of grabbing a, a bar of Japanese clay and yeah detailing a car this takes years and years and years to perfect to do it right and yeah. it's a real hand skill and, and you know the guys here do a fantastic job and as we kind of head into winter yeah. the important thing is when the when the driving season kind of stops for the sports cars or yeah. the summer users um, 
a bunch of customers actually come in and they just have us put a protective coat of wax on the car yeah, for them yeah. and get them ready for winter. So the worst of the winter, and we have a lot of salt in Ontario, yeah. uh, and, and we get rid of kind of, we protect the paint as best as we can. Yeah. And then we come in through our winter packages where people can kind of look after the car on a monthly basis and get the salt off their car and out of their carpets and fun stuff like that. So yeah, uh, it's like getting a whole new car again absolutely. without actually spending the money on you a whole betcha. new car. Yeah. So thanks for that, Ron. Cheers. Thanks. All right, so this room, I remember when they had the grand opening, there was the Magnus yep. Walker concourse that was a bunch of classic cars were here, and now it's growing. We've got lifts, yep. cars over cars. I can envision in a few years we'll have another level, I don't know. Uh, this is all certified pre-owned, though. Yeah, all right. a lot of the cars in here are certified pre-owned. This is kind of one of my happy places in the world. <laughs> um, sure, for a lot of people. Yeah, I, I kind of get to come in here every day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is the candy store for yeah. sure. Um, the cool thing is with Porsche and the certified pre-owned, uh, we can have certified pre-owned up to 15 years old, uh, but you can also extend your warranty up to 15 years old. And this is kind of one of those little known facts maybe we want to talk yeah, to you yeah. a little bit about. Um, so Porsche as is a, is a testament, I guess, to itself and, it, and as a brand and, and the quality of the cars, you can actually, you can actually if, you've, if you've got warranty on your car, mm -hmm. you can extend your warranty perpetually up to 15 years. So that is really cool. So in theory, and that came out a couple of years ago, but in theory, you could have a 997 Generation 1 from 2006 still under factory extended warranty, which is absolutely crazy. It's mind blowing. So I have my, my 997. Yep. I purchased it. Yep. I've got two months left on the warranty because I purchased it as a certified pre-owned, yep. left the dealership, I come back whenever, yep. maybe two months left in the warranty, you perform an inspection, yep. it can be warranted for another two years. Unlimited. Unlimited number of kilometers. That's right. So if I just drive this around Canada, because it's COVID, I can't leave Canada and yep. I can't travel, so I just want to drive. Yeah, absolutely. Kilometer, 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 it's covered. Yep. So. What isn't covered because on all warranties, that's the question people want to know because you know, people come in and say, oh, well, sorry, that wasn't covered. What, what's the hidden, the hidden yep. agenda? So there actually is no hidden agenda in a warranty. So whether we talk a new car or we talk a warranty extension, um, warranties are there uh, to, to ensure against uh, manufacturing right. or material defects in workmanship or materials. So wear and tear items. So if you've driven 500,000 kilometers and your ball joints are just worn out, they're just yeah. worn. Yeah. Then they're just worn, it's just old age, yeah. as, as we all know. And that's, that's not covered. That's not covered. Okay. If something fails because of a manufacturing defect, that's covered. For example, if your radio stops working and there's no maintenance or anything outside influence that could have caused it, then that would be covered. And then this Taycan, yep. which has the proper wheels, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. You mentioned a little while ago when not, you know, when, before we got filming this, that you can still purchase yep. a warranty after the fact without an inspection. So not Absolutely. Taycan in particular, but so run me through that little bit as so well. Say you, so say you trade in your 997, you buy a brand new Porsche right. and you don't want to extend your warranty at the time that you purchased the car. Yeah. But six months later, you're like, hey, you know what, Bonner? Maybe, gonna, I, want, maybe I want to- I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna right? hold on to this. I want to extend the warranty. Yeah. You can come on in and see us. You don't need up to your first service. So up to one year in service, you don't need an inspection. Come on in. We'll extend the warranty for you. We'll do the paperwork, a little bit of paperwork. Yeah. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So up to your first service, we can extend your warranty with no inspection. After that, there's an inspection. Right. So it's actually pretty neat, it's pretty cool. So you could have, in theory, a new 911 with six years of unlimited mileage warranty. Yeah, and I mean, hold on, and because 70% of Porsches are still on the road today, you're very much likely to keep that car yeah, you for bet. that long, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, listen, Greg, I wanna thank you for taking no, us through the, the, the inner workings of the back end of Porsche Center Oakville. Uh, if you have any questions about detailing your Porsche, if you have any questions about alignments, if you have any questions about your 997, 996, 993, 992, you know, whatever variant it happens to be uh, about repairs, um, or if you have any questions about genuine parts and those kinds of things, Greg is your guy and Greg's team. Uh, they do a phenomenal job here. 
Uh, we've got another episode in a few weeks that's going to be brought to you from Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, where we're going to be driving along with Anthony Poole uh, to see or experience uh, Porsche Centre Oakville sort of track day and lapping day. So that's going to be a lot of fun. In the meantime, uh, take care of yourselves. Stay safe in this, uh, this sort of COVID world we're living in right now. And I hope to see you on the next episode.